Gentle beings, hello, welcome to a terribly delayed video we're going to be covering today. How to uh, install and get working my free camera mod for one of the tanks. Um, I'm eternally grateful to Ezo, um, who uh, contributed in a massive way to this. It would not be possible to get it working again without his help, so thank you, Ezo. Um, he also did my mod pack, which I'll talk more about in the video, but... Um, yeah, I I'm gonna get straight into this. So the free camera mod, if you don't know, it allows you to detach your camera from your tank in the replay files um, of one of the tanks so that you can look around the map, you can investigate uh, maybe positions with the camera, you can look at where a particular shell entered your tank, you can look at how your positioning is. It it's a great tool for both when viewing gameplay and for making some pretty darn cool YouTube videos. If you want an example of that, please see my channel. Yay! Okay, so, um, first things first, I would recommend that you download my uh, mod for water tanks. There's two versions of it. The one you see here in the garage is the full version. It has the uh, golden tanks in the example, the uh, 260 here. It's nice and, nice and gold and plenty. That goes for all premium tanks. And we go to tier 8. Look at them! They're so pretty! And so, yeah, it has various perks like that. You've got all sorts of um, statistics down here that are readily available, whereas in the vanilla client, they're not. Other than that, doesn't change a massive amount. You've got a clock up there, just some nice perks. I will leave links in the description. One will be to the uh, page that tells you what is contained in m both mod packs. The other will be to where you can download both mod packs and uh, pick one that works for you. Now, the only reason I really suggest doing that is because I'm, I'm not certain. I, I know the theory, but I'm not certain that this mod will work without my mod packs. I, I don't know, I'm not trying to push you either way, but if you do install the mod and it doesn't work without my mod pack, that's probably why. But in theory, it should work just fine. So, how do you install it? Let's look. All right, so the link in the description that's after download this file or whatever I, I put in big capital letters will be this. It will be an avatar input handler. Um, which is just basically a fancy way of referring to a lot of text that uh, does cool stuff that I don't really understand. But you don't need to either, because we've done all the work for you. So all you need to do is take this folder, wherever it may be, and find your World of Tanks folder. Now for me, I've, I've got versions from all over the place. I've got versions from the Stone Age of World of Tanks and, and various different iterations of mod packs and whatever else but all you need to do is find your current client probably for most people it's going to be in in your local disk in c in games and then it will be just there while the tanks and this is what you get inside that while the tanks folder you have your launcher and your application folder there what you want to find is your lens mods your lens mods is where we're going to be looking and you want to go to the version of the game that it is. Now, for my mod pack, you're going to have to delete everything here and then paste the Linux Mods folder in. And then, go into the current version of the game right here. Create, because there may not be one there. Create a GUI folder. Is it just, just create a folder, call it GUI. And then go in that and just stick the avatar input handler in that folder. That's basically all you have to do. After that, when you can mod should work fine with all of you when you play um, and yeah if you got any questions about that I'll be happy to help you leave them in the comments but I'm gonna give you a quick uh, tutorial and update on how to use and manage the uh, funny camera mod within your game okay so here we are on the splendid game I had in the T62A which I did a gameplay analysis on if you are interested you can find that on my channel so to activate the funny camera mod you're gonna have to go to your funny camera you left click once and you should be able to move your camera about like this independent of whatever you are moving your camera like in the game and then you hold caps lock and tap F3 all goes to plan you should have just activated the three any camera modification and you should now be entirely separate from your vehicle. Now, 
At the start, your movements are going to look like this, which is very jerky, and especially if you're making videos, won't go down well at all. So, one of the most basic functions that you want to familiar familiarize yourself with is the ability to push P, P on your keyboard, which acts as a camera stabilizer, which means you get these nice smooth movements that really blend well if you want to put in a, a YouTube video, or just it feels a lot better than moving about like this thing blocky and makes you, makes you a bit visual. Makes me a bit sick, personally. So, your number keys are the ones about the uh, QWERTY formation on the keyboard, not your actual number keys, will allow you to adjust the speed of the camera. So if I push 1, then you can see the camera starts to move very slowly in D. Can be useful if I push not or zero at the end, I'm instantly going very, very, very fast. If I push five, it's in the middle and you get the picture. Um, I'm pushing V here to disable my HUD occasionally. Uh, that's not part of the mod, that's just the game. Um, you might have saw I also went under the ground here. To lock yourself to the floor plane, wherever you are, you can hit X. It means your camera now can't go below the floor, even if I point directly at it and try and go down as hard as I can. It's not having it. To control elevation, uh, you can use Q to go up, you can use E to go down, or you can use the scroll wheel, which can be a lot easier. Um, I'm using basic uh, tank controls to control it, so W is forward, S is backwards, D is right, A is left. Now, something that's quite useful is the POV. I, I use this in uh, my only plays, my Epic Lols compilations quite a lot, just because it, it can really make the shot look more dynamic. And you push the insert key. The insert and delete keys, those are just the FOV or the perspective of the shot. Can it allow you to get some quite nice dynamic shots and make it very, very interesting. If I want to reset back to the defaults of the camera, I can push F. That will reset your zoom mode, your FOV, to standard, so it's F to reset that. Um, you can tilt with the 2 and 3 key. 3 is to tilt clockwise, 2 is to tilt uh, anti-clockwise. These are the number keys, it's worth noting. So when you set your tilt, you can hit R. If you want to link to a particular tank, uh, bind to a tank, you can hit B when aiming at said tank. And now the camera moves to with the tank. That's B to do that. Um, one that I don't use often is C. That allows you to rotate around a stationary point, which is... I don't find it that useful, to be honest, but who knows? You might find it useful. Um, there's a lot more controls that I haven't mentioned. Um, but if you are interested in learning all of the insides and out, in, ins and outs of the uh, the mod, then go ahead and open that avatar input handler in a notepad file. Don't open it, I'm left clicking here to return to my tank by the way. Um, open that avatar input handler you downloaded to get the mod to work in the first place, and look at the bottom of it. It's got a summary of all the different controls and how they work, and you can investigate uh, various methods of adjusting how quickly a function happens or anything else like that and I think that's about all I wanted to cover It's a fantastic tool if you have found it helpful and it did work for you do please leave me a like on the video it does help my channel what doesn't sound that quick you know jeez unsettling okay so gentlemen um thank you very much for watching the video uh enjoy whatever you do with this mod and uh I won't.